Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for June 27th, read by Craig M. from Denny, Scotland. A thoughts for the day. Powerless. Most certainly I was powerless over alcohol, and for me, my life had become unmanageable. It wasn't how far I'd gone, but where I was headed. It was important to me to see what alcohol had done to me and would continue to do if I didn't have help. At first I was a shock to realise I was an alcoholic, but the realisation that there was hope made it easier. The baffling problem of getting drunk when I had every intention of staying sober was simplified. It was a great relief to know I didn't have to drink anymore. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 379. Thoughts to consider. Just because I'm powerless, It doesn't mean that I am helpless. Acronyms. Hope. Happy our problem exists. Just for today. Faith. From God is good. To go along with this deep-seated belief in God, I have developed an enormous faith in God. He is good. My understanding is that everything he sends my way is for my benefit. But the growth of this understanding has taken time as well as a relinquishing of my resistance to change. I needed the trials and tribulations I have had so that I could surrender and give up myself. Only in complete acceptance of utter defeat of my pride and ego could I begin to win. I came to believe 30th printing 2004, pages 86-87. Daily Reflections Conforming to the AA Way We obey AA's steps and traditions because we really want them for ourselves. It's no longer a question of good or evil. We conform because we genuinely want to conform. Such is our process of growth and unity and function. Such is the evidence of God's grace and love among us. A comes of age, page 106. It is fun to watch myself grow in AA. I fought conformity to AA's principles for the moment I entered, but I learned from the pain of my belligerence that, in choosing to live the AA way of life, I opened myself to God's grace and love. Then I began to know the full meaning of being a member of Alcoholics Anonymous. As Bill sees it, down to earth. Those of us who have spent much time in the world of spiritual make-believe have eventually seen the childishness of it. This dream world has been replaced by a great sense of purpose, accompanied by a growing consciousness of the power of God in our lives. We have come to believe he would like us to keep our heads in the clouds with him, but that our feet ought to be planted on earth. That is where our fellow travellers are, and that is where our work must be done. These are the realities for us. We have found nothing incompatible between a powerful spiritual experience and a life of sane and happy usefulness. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 130. Big Book Quote In thinking about a day, we may face indecision. We may not be able to determine which course to take. Here we ask God for inspiration, an intuitive thought or a decision. We relax and take it easy. We don't struggle. We're often surprised how right answers come after we have tried this for a while. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, into action, page 86. 24 hours a day. A thought for the day. If you can take your troubles as they come, if you can maintain your calm and composure amid pressing duties and unending engagements, if you can rise above the distressing and disturbing circumstances in which you are set down, you have discovered a priceless secret of daily living. Even if you are forced to go through life, weighed down by some inescapable misfortune or handicap, and yet live each day as it comes with poison peace of mind, you have succeeded where most people have failed. You have wrought a greater achievement than a person who rules a nation. Have I achieved poison peace of mind? Meditation for the day. Take a blessing with you wherever you go. You have been blessed, so bless others. Such stores of blessings are awaiting you in the months and years that lie ahead. Pass on your blessings. Blessings can and does go around the world, passed on from one person to another. Shed a little blessing in the heart of one person. That person is cheered to pass it on, and so. God's vitalizing, joy-giving message travels on. Be a transmitter of God's blessing. Prayer for the day. I pray I may pass on my blessings. I pray that I may flow into the lives of others. From Hazardine Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 5B.
0105-555-0012. This is Transitions Daily. My name is Craig and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.